Good afternoon, everybody. PA Figs here. It is day 43 of lockdown. Yeah, so day 43 of lockdown. Not an awful lot going on. Um, been trying to get some of the plants hardened off out of the greenhouse to get them ready to go outside. And I did want to show you what happens with a fig tree when you leave it in the greenhouse or you overwinter it in your house to try to get some extra growth. So let's go out here and take a look. So I pulled this out of the greenhouse. This is one that I put in from the garage. And it's been in here for, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks now, I think. And you can see it looks pretty good. The growth is good. You know, everything's nice and straight. No problem. So this overwintered, went dormant, and then I put it in the greenhouse. Now let me show you one. If you remember my uh, white Madeira that I had in the greenhouse all winter. <laughs> Look at this mess. So I braced up this branch, but you can see how leggy the growth gets, and it can't, I mean, it can't even support itself. It's just a mess. Looks like me after I've been drinking for three hours. But it, uh, it needs to be braced, it needs to be supported. A lot of figs growing on this, a couple what I think are brebas, and then a bunch of uh, main crop. So I am going to have to get some stakes and stake this guy up. And this is why I tell people not to grow their fig trees into the winter inside their house. Because this is what will end up happening. It will get all leggy, and then quite frankly it's just a pain in the butt to correct. So I should have taken my own advice and taken this out of the greenhouse. A lot of times I'll actually turn the heat off in the greenhouse in the winter and let things go dormant. Um, but this year I failed to do so. So now you can see you'll have to get some stakes, or I'll have to get some stakes. I'll have to uh, get a little bit better. I've got some baling wire that I can wrap around here to straighten these out a little bit. I'm going to try not to damage these figs that are starting to pop up out of it, but something needs to be done to get this thing back to where it needs to be, because if a storm comes through or any type of wind at all, it's just going to destroy this plant. These these limbs would get wrecked. They can't hold up to the uh, the abuse. So a couple days here of cloudy, rainy weather without much wind. I'm letting them come out. I'm messing with them, getting them to build a little bit of that rigidity until I can brace them up. Okay, so back in the greenhouse. It's nice and warm in here, and there is a, uh, a couple things to look at. First of all, my Coldedom Noir has... Oop, I just tore a leaf in half, but it started to branch out. Let me come around. So you can see it is leafing out, and it's got some growth in there. And that's kind of the whole reason that I bring these into the greenhouse early. I wish I had a much larger greenhouse. Uh, but again, you don't want to bring things in over the winter, but in the early spring to give them a head start. And if I had a larger greenhouse, I'd do it with a lot of them. Although I do need to get better at hardening off. Cucumbers, I thought I got yeah, a couple cucumbers starting to form. And the uh, Bordesot Negra Ramada up there continues to put out some figs. I'm looking forward to this. And I, that one I am glad I overwintered. It was small enough, it didn't put on enough growth, it, it, it's a slow grower. And the ones that I had in the garage looked like they had quite a bit of damage over the winter, which is surprising because of the mild winter we had. But it does happen. And this little snap pea here is just taunting me, so... Gotta eat that sucker. <laughs> They're good. But yeah, you can see the, the greenhouse is doing pretty well. I moved some stuff around to try to give the sunlight to um, the things that weren't getting as much of it. The petunias are more than ready to be outside. So note for next year, if I watch my video back, I don't need to buy them as early as I bought them. So good to know. They grew pretty well. They were ready to go outside, but we're still a few weeks away from being able to do that. Okay, so I'm trying to think. Uh, on a more personal note, um, I did go to Doylestown today, which is about an hour, hour and a half away from here, to get the uh, antibody test that they came out with. Um, private lab, had to pay out of pocket. 
it was $199, and I'll get the results in two days to see um, if I've had the antibodies. Figured it was worth doing. I did a lot of travel to a couple different countries, uh, cruise, and multiple trips through Philly down to Florida, uh, January through March there. So I figured it was worth it just for a peace of mind um, to go ahead and get that test done. And I'll show you a little footage of it here. Okay, so I just arrived at Arc Point Labs. I called and need to go in to get my uh, blood drawn for the testing. Here's the lab. Just in a little plaza type of area. Wouldn't even know it was here. It was a little bit hard to find. Alright, so that took maybe 30 seconds, handed in my paperwork, they uh, took blood, and uh, now I wait two days and see what it says. So yeah, very interesting experience, and uh, we'll see what happens. If it comes out positive, then, you know, a little bit easier to go out in uh, public and not worry as much, just a little bit of a relief, I guess you'd say. And uh, I can also look into donating blood, plasma, and whatever I, else I can do to help out. If it comes back negative, then I have a data point to know if I get sick in the future, you know, maybe I have to look at it. If not, then uh, I just need to continue to be careful and do what I have to do. So, oh, well, that's weird. I just got an email from myself, and it says from your future self a year from now. Hmm, let's go take a look. Hey, buddy, don't worry about this whole lockdown thing. You're going to start working out. You're going to be eating all these greens you're growing this year in the garden in the greenhouse, and you're going to do just fine. But you just keep on going, and we'll be okay. I mean, we're, we're still on lockdown, but I, I, I'm doing okay still. So you're doing okay still, and I, I, I forgot what day it was. Well, that's pretty cool. Learned how to send a video to myself in the past. That thought that was... Pr oh, I got it another one coming in. This is from uh, two years from now. Huh. Let's see what that is. Um, hi dad. You know, remember how you were looking for something to do while on lockdown? Well... Um... Okay. I need to get some alcohol. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, feeling a little better now. Had a moment to digest that. We're gonna figure things out and Make sure that doesn't happen here anytime in the near future. These uh, messages are getting a little weird. Here comes another one. This one says it's, uh, geez, from, I don't even know what date it is. It says, oh, oh, hey, it's me, future me, saying that COVID has been resolved and it's all over. Let's go watch. Now, Nick, listen, I know you're worried about this COVID. But it's not going to go on forever. It just ended this week. We are free to leave our houses now and go to restaurants. So hang in there. It won't be forever. Uh, that's not the news I was hoping for. Well, in all seriousness, though, guys, I hope everybody is staying safe and uh, having a little bit of downtime here to maybe get some additional gardening done and, you know, concentrate on your figs as we get close to the spring. Those of you in warmer climates are uh, likely working on moving your plants outside. Uh, I learned my lesson the hard way and uh, have been moving mine into the garage and opening the garage doors. I'm going to give it a few more days. I may move some out this weekend. Um, with the thought that I may have to move them back in. The 10-day looks pretty good. There is one low 38 that I have to keep an eye on, but after that, the 10-day looks great. You know, mid-40s for the, the lows at night. No threat of frost if it stays like that. And we really should not... Uh, I need to find wood. Should not get frost uh, once we hit May. So that'll make me feel a little more comfortable about moving the rest of my trees out. So I hope everybody's staying safe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm PA Figs. Take care. Well, thank goodness, because if I keep eating all the stuff in the closet that we've been storing, I'm going to gain some weight. <laughs>